This is the end. Day five out of five. It's Friday, June fifth. I mean, it's a lot because it's the last day. I'm sad. My my heart hurts. I'm gonna be in high school. First day of senior year. I actually am a little bit nervous. Passed my license. I now have a driver's license. Hey guys! We're it's freezing. <laughs> First day back from winter break, and I do not want to be here. We walked over to the small gym in our school, and that's where they held the glow rally. So hey, today is my friend 18th birthday. Make some noise! Okay, guys, we made it. Um, it's cold. It's I leave in less than an hour for my senior sunset. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It's graduation day. I don't like that I can say that, but it is. So we're going to start getting ready. I'm going to do a berry scrub I did for prom, which if you didn't watch my prom video, what are you doing? Probably won't judge you. Um, you can go watch it now. Guys, I'm hoping everything goes smoothly. Nobody falls. It's not too hot, but also not windy or cold or anything. Just the perfect temperature. We're not allowed a purse at graduation, or sorry, no, yeah, we're not. Um, obviously, because like we can't be having the purse and trying to walk and everything. But I need to put my camera, my phone, lip gloss. I don't know something. I need to have that on me, so I'm gonna put the purse under my gown. What are they gonna do? Not let me graduate. Thank y'all. We'll be back in ten to fifteen minutes. I'm going to finish journaling and then we'll take all this off and really get started. It's go time, no messing around, just getting ready <sighs> for high school graduation. I can't believe I'm saying that every single time I'm going to say it. I can't believe I'm saying that because I really can't. We're going to start off with primer, which I'm running out of um, because we need to lock this in all day long. I still remember my first day of school, online school, of course, because I graduated 8th grade class of 2020. Um, oh, maybe I should start with eyeshadow. Um, anyway, what was our class of 2020? So our entire first year of high school was just online. We never once stepped foot on that campus for actual class. I was actually really kind of happy about that because it allowed me to get used to the high school environment remotely like from at home because I came from a school where I think the max amount of kids was 176 so I was going into a school of 3500 I think it was a big change but, you know, it was nice because I got to do it out of the comfort of my own home. I got my nails in yesterday. I'm very blue. But they're so cute. I love them so much. I got to do it out of the comfort of my own home. So it really was not as scary. Actually, I did summer school first because I did Puente throughout high school. Um, and so for that, you have to do a summer school English class, which, by the way... So my brother, he's three years older than me. His went to summer school is obviously in person. But I think he had to be there from like 9 a.m. to 1, Monday through Friday. I think I had to be there like an hour, maybe three times a week, three, four times a week. And that was really it. So it was truly a saving grace. So I did my first year of high school completely online. Then... I did a like summer school geometry class so I could get ahead, which was pretty interesting. I had an interesting time in that class. It was really weird. It was a lot of getting used to it. 
but you know, I did it and I survived and it was fine. It definitely prepared me for the first day of school because my I remember my teacher had signed us up for a campus tour because she knew that we had pretty much never really stepped foot on that campus. So I was so grateful for that because they showed us around and ever since that one walkthrough, I knew exactly where all the classes and halls and stuff were. I never really got used to, I mean, I know where the big gym and the small gym is, but I never really got used to where um, the different fields, I guess. Like I knew where the, the football field was. That one was obvious. But when they were like, oh, the soccer gym, you have to go to the soccer gym for, or soccer gym, the soccer field for this. When I heard people talking about that, I had no idea where that was because I never needed to go there. Sophomore year was easy. I never got lost, I don't think. Like, there were times where I just didn't know where something was, so I would just have to ask. But other than that, it was fine. Like in this, I don't remember. Let me look back at the inspo photo. I think I'm gonna like tone it down a bit. I didn't go to any homecomings the first two years because I believe my friends said that they weren't going. So I was like, eh, what's the point? I didn't do too many school dances. I did junior prom. That's a little bit over a year ago. Can't believe that one. Just came and went. <laughs> hey y'all, if you're in high school still, make sure you Make the most of it if you can and just enjoy it. It was very so quickly. Okay. While I get ready, I figured I would tell you about my experience trying to get my graduation tickets yesterday. So first of all, they had us standing in line outside in a hundred degree heat for these tickets, right? For like an hour. So, you know, everybody was hot, tired, bored, yada, yada, yada. And so, you know, a few people were complaining about it, naturally, in line. And there was this one woman that I had heard say like, ugh, I'm so, oops. Sorry guys. There was this one woman that I had heard saying, oh, I'm so glad that this is my last kid at the school because it's annoying, whatever. And I guess a couple people, or one girl at the front of the line, was letting people, like her friends, cut her. And so, you know, not only was it already taking a long time for them to do tickets, but now she's letting people cut, so now it's taking even longer. By the way, the reason why it was taking so long was because they were also checking to see if um, kids had like fees to pay the school for books and stuff. And so anyway, so the woman went up and she told the security like, hey, you cannot be letting these kids cut, let other kids cut because then the rest of us are waiting even longer. And so the security was like, yeah, they should be doing that. So then she went back to her place in line. I guess the kids were still letting people cut them. So she went back up there and she told the girl that was letting people cut like, Hey, you cannot, I'm so sorry my thing keeps falling. Like, hey, you cannot be letting kids cut because these people are just walking right in. Meanwhile, everybody else in this line has been waiting for an hour in the heat, like it's not fair. And the girl at the front goes zero to 100. Like immediately, she's like, oh. <laughs> just starts yelling, she's like, Oh, you can't be telling me that I can't let people in line or I only let certain people in line. I can't even remember. I couldn't even like hear really. Um, and so then the woman is obviously like gonna kind of argue back. She was still calm, like the girl was screaming. And the girl is like, um, you got attitude, well guess what? I have attitude too. <laughs> and so then she go the girl still, the 18 year old girl, she's like I'm grown, I'm 18, but in the same breath, she goes, I'm gonna call my mom. <laughs> so she called her mom. <laughs> she has her mom on the phone and she's like, mom, I'm about to fight this woman. I'm about to pop her. You better come fight this woman. <laughs> like, so who's gonna fight her, you or her? So they had to separate them. Meanwhile, it's taking like an extra 10 minutes in that line. Luckily, I was in the shade. 
and I was getting some entertainment. I feel bad for that woman. Um, so they had to separate them. They put the woman in a different room. The girl's mom came. I thought that there was going to be a fight because all of a sudden security started like running towards the quad area where the mom and the daughter was as well as the woman. But then I didn't hear anything after that, so I don't really know what happened there. Grace, I was like, wow, what a way <laughs> to really end off, you know, my last time being here. But I was not planning on curling my hair. But then I just did the front pieces and then I realized it looked way better than my how my natural hair was looking today. I'm really not very good at straightening or curling my hair. It's probably because I do it like maybe twice a year and that's it. Especially straightening my hair. Curling, I can kind of do my hair is kind of curly so it like all kind of mixes together. It's fine. Not one flower that's left. Are you serious? Not one. Like this is it. I'm getting all of my lays and sashes. Ooh, rings. Putting this one on. It's our class ring. Let's go graduate. We're on our way. We're here. We're waiting in line now. <laughs> Guys, we're walking in. It's happening. Y'all, they have us going through hoops to get to this dang hill. <sighs> Lord. Okay, we're waiting in our line and we have about another hour, I think, before we get seated and we'll see our money start. Guys, we're starting! We're gonna start walking. I missed it there. Destiny, she wants to be a Marie Fragoso. Alina Gonzalez. Mario Alfonso Tamacho Fanas. Quasi Moralejo Mora. Sofia Gufania. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. Jose Magalero Jr. Of 2024, on behalf of the School District Board of Education, I hereby certify this year's graduating class. Would you now please move your tassel from the right to the left? Congratulations. Gentlemen, the class of 2024. off this video at first graduation was kind of miserable because it was just so hot 
and we were standing outside in our caps and gowns for like three hours, some of us. And then we didn't get water till we had to climb up this hill. And then it was by then it was almost time for graduation. So, but you know, the actual ceremony was really nice. I got to sit with my friends, which was the best part, especially because I got to sit next to my best friend. So we graduated one after the other, which was really special. And it was such a nice time to kind of like close off this chapter in our lives, say bye to our friends. It was very bittersweet. I also wanted to mention the slight disaster that was us trying to have dinner afterwards. So my graduation ran from 6 to almost 9 p.m. by the time that we got out um, of like the whole parking lot situation. And so by 9, most restaurants are closed. They're almost closing at 10. And so we decided to go to BJ's, which is like closing at 12 a.m. I believe. And it's like 20 minutes away from where we were. So we drive those 20 minutes, and my brother sees that the line is out the door just to put your name down. So we had to drive 20 minutes back to where we live, and the other restaurant that we were going to go to ended up closing earlier than we anticipated. And so then as we like kept driving on the freeway, we went to where our exit is in our city, and it was closed. <laughs> So needless to say, we ended up at Nations at like 10.30 p.m. We ate burgers and fries, but it was still kind of, it was still fun. Whether or not you've been watching me since I started this channel or if this is your first video, thank you guys so much for watching, um, and I will see you all in the next chapter. Bye! Mwah.